Yeah, I find it very hard to always blame why people blame the manager. It's always the players. Because, I mean, we all know they are multi-millionaires. They earn huge wages and all that. So they should be fighting for every game. Snapshot Studio, the match just ended. United won, Liverpool won. Uh, that was squeaky bum time, you know, at yeah. the end, you guys kind of held on to a draw. Yeah. You know, that was the irony because I think for much of the game, you guys were on top. Yeah. What do you make of the result, man? I think uh, most fans will agree it's a fair game mm -hmm. because both teams didn't look like they, they deserve to win. Mm -hmm. As in, yes, correct, like Liverpool was poor. United were, were really on the front foot for most of the game, uh, most of the game, and then eventually we slip up, right? But then from then on, Liverpool did cover, like make up for their first half uh, dreadful play. So I guess both sides didn't deserve to win. Lah. So I think a fair result is a very, very, I mean a draw is a very, very fair result. Yeah. Um, what kind of bearing does it have uh, on Oli's job? You know, uh, we we saw you know today uh, was an inspired performance uh, for United. You know, you guys rose from the ashes. Uh, but then again, at the end of the day, the final result does tell. You know, it's again um, two points drop. I would say you know because you guys were holding on for, to the lead for such a long time. Um, do you think now you know if you really want to dissect this uh, for real, do you think it's Oli time for him to take the back seat or do no, you, are you still I, the Oli in camp? I'm a I'm, I'm 100% Oli fan uh, so I mean tactically speaking he is uh, we haven't found his style yet so at this moment in time uh, he's still playing contented with like uh, injured players uh, not in the first team yet so like I said we, we his style has not been formed you see, because of all his uh, injuries uh, from players and everything. So I would say a fair time to judge is once, you know, he has gone through the second transfer window, then we, we are poised to bring in a few more players. Uh, and then, you know, the injured ones come back and then, you know, we can see his final play. As to whether, you know, like when you say results do matter, I you know, but this season I feel like... Uh, Every team, every other team is also playing very well. You know, the league is so competitive that one day, you know, the the leader can win and then, you know, Manchester City can, can, can lose. So, you know, a few seasons back and given the domination, we wouldn't think they would lose to Wolves, right? But they do. So, that being said, you know, it's a very open league. So, I guess it's not time to really go and fault the manager, whereas it's like the whole club the way they're being run and all that so you know we we know that how the club is being run and everything and so all the the disheartenment with the fans and all that. but definitely Ole in definitely. um also we look uh, at united the way they performed today uh, again uh, maybe it was the weight of the derby it kind of pushed them up propel them into another gear but why don't you see this kind of performances you know against another a smaller of a club or lesser of a club you know what do you think is is it the mentality uh, is it the, you know, the, maybe the players themselves are just not up for games that are not big enough for them i feel like it's is part of both the manager's job is to of course uh, have tactics and then of course uh, discuss gameplay and, and everything but ultimately we all know it boils down to the team. If the players slack off, if they don't respect the gameplay, if they don't rise up to the occasion, you know, it happens. I mean, so, I mean, that's why I say, like for me I find it very hard to always blame why people blame the manager. It's always the players because, I mean, we all know they are multi-millionaires, they earn huge wages and all that so they should be fighting for every game and then of course as a fan it's really disappointing when they don't step up for the lower like you know we lost to newcastle so it annoys me really to the core to my guts i i hate it but uh that's why i say the, the league is so competitive things happen and and they happen really because you know, all teams have, want to have a fighting chance. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Now that you know this is really out of the way. Okay. Okay. So looking at how they perform, you know, we think that probably this will be the building blocks yeah. going to you know future matches. You know, and if United perform the way they did right now, where do you think realistically United would actually finish this season? I would say top six. 
but if I'm like that's my unbiased fan opinion but being a United lover fan I hope for a top four yeah and also uh, to this match who was the stand-up performer that one sole stand-up performer that got you clapping I actually have two uh, I would say Andres Pereira he this game he was really great like the way he went for all the balls he was basically like a dog of the leash uh, chasing every loose balls and all that and and being a hard man really for his size he's, he's going crazy and then of course uh, Daniel James uh, this fella ran into two walls today two or three times I think and he still got up you know after a quick uh, medical and then you know he got up and still went running and all that so I feel like these two really are my man of the match for this game actually yeah okay, good. Mm -hmm.